The president also said yesterday, this is no time to walk away from Ukraine. USA to that country will be an issue in the new Congress. He's pushing for billions more dollars in aid on top of advanced weapons systems and other assistance that have already helped Ukraine's military roll back Russian gains. Holly Williams spoke to Ukraine's former president about that American aid and why he believes it's crucial. From rocket systems to anti-tank missiles, American weapons have been game-changing in Ukraine, helping its soldiers recapture swaths of territory. I appreciate first, not congressmen, not administration, not even the president, but United States people. Petro Poroshenko is a former president of Ukraine who told us defeating Vladimir Putin in this country is really about defending democracy across the free world. This is uh, fighting not only for Ukraine. This is fighting for United States. This is fighting for the whole Western world. But last month, then House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy suggested Republicans could reassess military assistance to Ukraine if they won control of Congress, saying there should be no blank check. I mean, that's a Kremlin quality fairy tale. But nonetheless, that's what's coming from uh, the Republican side. Retired General Ben Hodges commanded the U.S. Army in Europe. He's also critical of progressive Democrats in Congress who wrote a letter urging President Biden to use diplomacy to somehow end the war before hastily withdrawing it. Others in the U.S. even argue that Ukraine should give up territory in return for peace. Would it actually work? If you do that kind of a deal with Russia, can you trust them? Absolutely not. And then I would ask people, so which part of their country or, or their home state are they willing to give up? If, if Russia said, hey, look, we just want a little bit of Florida or let us have New England and then we'll promise not to use nuclear weapons. So they're pursuing the insane impeachment witch hunt. I've been Former President now. Donald Trump was impeached for abuse of power in 2019 after blocking nearly $400 million in military assistance to Ukraine and pressuring President Vladimir Zelensky to investigate discredited corruption allegations against his rival, Joe Biden. Now some Ukrainians fear they could again be held hostage to U.S. politics. My message to all of my friends from both Democrat and Republican, it should be a competition between you who do more for Ukrainian resilience for the global security. For CBS Mornings, Holly Williams, Kyiv, Ukraine.